Hello, welcome back to another episode of my Terraria. Uh, it's Beard Puma here, of course. Uh, today we are starting at nighttime, obviously. That's kind of where we left off last time. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at everything we got. So, we made our way through hell a little bit. Uh, we did get some obsidian stuff, so we got the obsidian skull that I was able to make right there. Which grants immunity to fire blocks, so that means I can actually get on those fire... The red ones in hell. Uh, let's go back to the map. We went through the dungeon a little bit. We can always go back and go through more. But really what I want to do is I want to start getting into the jungle area. So I'm going to go ahead and make my way over there. Start that off. Maybe build a little house and a bed just in case I die. So I don't have to run and run and run. But yeah, I'll see you guys over there. Alrighty, welcome back. Uh, I made it over to the jungle area. I, I can't wait. Nope, there you go. You dropped that. I'll kill you real quick. Take a look at the map. I did find a little entrance here that I could take. I found one over there as well, but I don't know. I kind of just went past to see if there's anything else. Saw this and decided to jump in. Uh, iron skin potion, which is good for any boss battle, really. It's going to keep making our way. Oh, it got really dark. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. I was hoping that I was scared it was going to be like a big drop, but uh, here we go. So we got 380. We got this nether light crystal. Of pink. 20 more. We're at 400. We are at max health, finally. Uh, so if we find heart containers now, we could actually use them to make these little heart lanterns that uh, kind of give you health regen, I believe, right? Yeah. Keep making our way down. What is that? I want it. What is it? I want it. Get out, slug. What's that? It's purple. There's there's so much stuff that I've never really a grubby. I'm guessing all this stuff is really kind of for like fishing and stuff like that. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll get into fishing later on. But for now, I just kind of want to make my way around, show a little bit more progression. No, we'll still collect these. Why not, right? It's it's good to have, I guess. For some reason or another. But let's make our way up. Let's uh, cut our way through here. Make our way. I'm still going through a little bit. Uh, so, really, what's going on lately is uh, trying to stay on top of making episodes for this. Uh, this is the very first series I ever started really making. So, I feel like I need to kind of go further with it, really. I really do enjoy this game. It's just really hard to, you know, get through. And. Well, it's not really that hard to get through, I guess. I, what I want to do is find the hive. I really want to find the hive so I can start some uh, Queen Bee battles. But I feel like that's the next one. I really want to mount. Uh, I like the bee mount. It doesn't really fly really high, but it, it's a good start. Until we get some wings in hard mode, which are always great to have. But until then, we got to make our way this way, which is fine. You know, nothing really bad about that. I kind of messed that up completely. I think this kind of dead ends. Nope, it keeps going down here. Uh, I wish I can be lazy. <laughs> I mean, I can throw a glow stick if I just go select glow sticks, but too lazy. Keep going in here. Also, what I want to find is some of the jungle spores. It's gonna help us craft some stuff for uh, well, progressing our inventory, our gear, so we can actually fight some stuff without completely losing and dying. Yeah, I know, I know. Ah, it's getting dark. There we go. Oh, what's that? I guess it's a pot. Uh, so keep going down. What I still... The main thing I'm looking for... Oh, I got a lot of stuff here, huh? Things I... I say this like every single episode because I haven't found any, but the anti-grab potions. That's what I really... Oh, got some honey. That's a good sign. But anti-grab potions so I can go up in the sky and try to find some, uh, land up there. Get some chest, but... This is a good sign right here. Okay. Uh... Try to get some honey block here. Which is always good to have again. I'll show why later. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead. Uh, by the way, when you're in honey, like yeah, let's go ahead and try to dig down. Build a little. So we get a little health regen there. 30 seconds of health regen, always a good thing to have as well. But I am happy we found the hive here. I don't know if we can. Let's see how we do against the actual uh, just the hornets here. I uh, see. I'm trying to. <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> I was trying to mine my way through so I can actually get it. Uh, not great. I mean, I don't know how. Let's, let's see how this goes. See, that's not that great either. I mean, if I can stay agile, I might not have to worry too much about it. I'm gonna turn down the sound a little bit. I feel it's really loud in my earphone, so but let's go ahead and pop it down just a little bit. Uh, is this gold? Yeah, we'll get a little bit of gold while we're here too. Why not? We got a little bat flying around trying to show us. 
Oh, we've got a... Oh, okay. So the hornets also spit. Well, not spit, but they shoot. Oh, I thought those dropped on you. They, they actually shoot uh, spines at you. Oh, cool. We got a house here. Open the door. There we go. Okay, we got a piano there. There's some lights up here. Chandelier there. What do we got here? Okay, we got some shoe spikes, which I have the claws. Awesome, so we can use those combined with the binding bench. I might have some already, but whatever. I uh, don't need rope. Don't need any more wooden arrows. I think that's, yeah, we got 900 already. Uh, shine potion, recall potion. Go ahead and take a shine. And we'll take these torches too. And those silver coins. Ah. So when you stack it like that, got to go back in here and find the gold coin. When I say stack it like that, you see how it's stacked to 132 there? You can go ahead and do that. It makes it nice and easy. Uh, so let's go ahead and try to be accurate, but not be accurate. I want to explore more of this and find... Cause this is honey. I haven't found any honey cone. Like, I thought I would right away, but I haven't. And I should get that silver too, but I'm more interested in just finding this. No, not down here. Has to be to the left then, right? I mean, realistically, that's kind of where it was leading. But then you got the magnum there that really threw me off. But maybe it's just a random burst of honey. Maybe it's nothing, you know? That would be really sad. But that's what I feel like it is. I'm like standing right in danger. Ah, oh. Okay, good thing I got rockets so I can. Ooh, okay, we got a minecart. What is this? I don't think I've ever seen a rapid boomstick, huh? Alright. Awesome. Night Owl, we can use that to help our see a little bit. Might as well do that as well. Uh, definitely take that with us. Don't really need anything else in there, but... That's kind of cool. I didn't expect to see that. You can also use the mine cart here. Throw some torches down as we go, so we can see. Uh, so this is the end right here, okay. Oh, what's down there? That might be a honeycomb down there. I've seen a lot of honey, but no real honeycombs. Uh, sometimes you can go through some lava, which isn't really always the fun thing to do. Uh, maybe your parents taught you that when you were kids, but yeah, don't, don't play with lava, everyone. Let's take a look where we are. Okay, so we got kind of underneath the sand biome. That's that's fun. A lot of heart crystals there. Oh, mushroom biome. Let's see, we got little mushroom huts. Make our way in there. There we go. Get up there. Yeah, here we are. Let's see if we can try to make our way through here without dying. I don't think we'll die at all. We got some gold here. So you need a mushroom biome to only get one of the NPCs that I never actually got. Uh, I don't have that achievement in my Steam collection or anything. I... So do you just chop this down like wood? Do you, can you build with it? or I don't understand. Uh, I'll look into it. Let's go ahead and take this heart though. I uh, probably will just try to make our way back. Yeah, we can just make our way full circle this way. Oh, got a dart. It's always fun. Stepping on traps is a good time, buddies. Some more gold there. This is finding a lot of gold down here. Ooh, I think that's another house. There we go. Let's see if we can make our way in here. Be really still. I'm going to say it like 19 million times every single episode, but I really, really, really would like to find. We already got one of those. Uh, some anti grab potions. So, like I said, we're going to happen, though. What's this? It's like a skull. Fallen chandeliers, some broken ones. Oh, we got a Medusa down there, so can we... Yeah, we can kind of cheese it a little bit, huh? There we go. So this is always a fun thing. Of course, platforms you can shoot down. So let's just go ahead and fire straight down for a minute. See if we can take her out this way. It's kind of cheap. Uh, but I don't want to tur be turned into stone and die. Uh, let's try to move over and do a better angle. kind of ran away. Why'd you run away? There we go. That's a much better angle. And dead. Uh, do I have to? Does she? If I do like that, do I get anything else? Uh, okay. So sometimes she will drop her head as an item. You can use that as magic, uh, which I still have to build my magic up because it's pathetic. 
Uh, Salamander. I don't know. I don't really want to mess with that. So let's go ahead and hit that up there. Get rid of no elemental. No. Uh, there's a jungle spore over there. That's what they look like when they're in the wild. Without having to be, I guess, pulled out of a pot is what happened. Just keeps going, man. Oop, here we are. This is what I've been looking for right here. I'm poisoned right now. Is that what's going on? Yeah, okay. So this is the... Okay, this is what drops the honey. And when you do it, you do unleash these little tiny bees. Uh, but for now, I'm going to go ahead... Oh, I forgot to build my house up there, so I can't even... It's alright, though. It's alright, it's alright. We'll be fine. Let's go ahead and go to inventory. Alright, so we're going to keep making our way through, and they're going to keep attacking us as we break them. So let's try to keep our distance a little bit. I think this will... Yep, there it is. Okay, we made our way through. So we can throw... There we are. We're sitting pretty. Uh, minus the things that are coming at us. Those those are making us not so good. Let's try to kill him. Alright, let's try to get some more fire down here so we can see. Alright, so that is a larva. If we kill that, the bee will come. That's kind of how it works. Uh, this is a really tiny area. So, fighting here isn't really the greatest thing. I might have to build it up a little bit. So give me a little bit, guys. I'm going to go ahead and try to cut some of this down. And build some uh, platforms to jump on to try to beat this bee. Alright guys, so uh, something I do recommend doing if you're doing this is grabbing some bombs and go ahead and just jump and toss, jump and toss, jump and toss. Get out of the way. It's going to unleash a lot of bees at once, which isn't always the funnest thing to do, but it's alright. Let's go ahead and throw some more, hit escape so we can just pull out our moss moon and just start... There we go. See, they're already dead, minus a couple more. Got those guys. Uh, so when water hit and money, hun yeah, water and money, water and honey hit, it does create a little honey block. I believe you can use those for summonings and things like that. But anyway, back to what I was doing, guys. I am back. Uh, we got a couple more we can place real fast. So this is it. Uh, it's not huge, but it will do. I also have a little platform. Oh, I missed it. There's a platform right under this torch, or not? Okay, maybe the platforms disappear if you put them there. But anyway, there's a little bit of honey down here, so I can easily just get down there and get a little bit of, uh, oh, okay, I see. It is right there, so I, I gotta tap it really fast. Alright, so I do get 30 seconds of life regen that happens. So what I have to do now is go over here and smack a this. Alright, that did summon it in. Oh, there it is. Let's get my laser rifle. My laser rifle. And let's try to get a little bit more agile than that. Alright, so that's how they, uh, she charges in. So we got to do just keep on firing, really. Uh, actually, we got this bow here. Let's go ahead and fire some uh, fire arrows. Maybe that'll do a little bit more. Catch her on fire. Keep that uh, damage over time going. Daughter up. Wish I had a repeater. Ah, see these little bees are the bane of my existence. Um, okay. Seem to be doing okay. Just need to see it is a little too small. I should have made it wider so we can uh, get her better. This way we can actually kind of destroy some of them. Uh, Mini Shark is really, really good in this, actually. I should have went to the arms dealer and bought one of them. That's what I'll do if I'll die. Uh, but in the meantime, we're just going to keep on trucking through here, see if we can try to get some damage done to her. Uh, she is kind of going down, but it, it's just not wide enough, so she keeps going outside of uh, anywhere I can do damage, which is not a good thing. Uh, so let's go ahead and go back to this not doing a whole lot but it's more accurate and I can shoot it a lot faster these things are really annoying so let's just keep moving keep moving hit that H try to get a little bit of a uh, bit of health uh, we got her down to almost halfway which you know isn't too bad let's just keep moving keep dipping and dodging see if we can just stay out of the way try to hit her a few times as she comes We're doing pretty well still uh, we're about half health, so is she. We got 40 seconds left on our uh, our healing pots. Uh, but we are at a health regen, so let's go ahead and get in there real fast. See if we can get some faster regen. That'll help us out a lot. Uh, these things again. I don't have the health to take those, so I gotta destroy them as they come. Aw, oh, man. Went for the heart, but I heard her come and I panicked and I froze. It's fine, though. We're, we're still doing okay. We still got 150 health. It's not the greatest thing in the world, but it's not the worst. Uh, got her down quite a bit. We can just try to dodge those a little bit before we have to have to do that. 
Okay, 180. There we go. We got six seconds left. That's it. Get a little bit more regen from that. And heal. Okay, so I'm feeling a lot better now. We got 270. It's still kind of easy to drop, but I feel like we can do this. Uh, she's kind of low on health now. I might want to just go and switch back to the bow. I think she's going to kind of freeze up a little bit. Or she's going to frenzy and go faster. One of the two. Uh, looks like the latter. Um, come back to this. Faster shots. Faster shots. I'm plowing in. Very, very close to dead. 263 left. Uh, less health than we have. Let's put it that way. And she just kind of stood still and took it. One, two, three. And dead. Gotcha. Alright, so we just got to take care of these. Sweet. We did it. I uh, got 12 gold out of that B nade. Take a look at everything we got. Let's go ahead and. Yeah, see, I thought so. Uh, I guess so. Uh, get rid of Sluggy too, then, huh? So we got some bee wax, which we can use as material. We got a, a fleeting honeycomb, which is more material. Releases, uh, release bees when damaged. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. So we can actually use that to combine with other accessories. So that's always good. Uh, hive wall, which we just got. Bee nades, which are actually kind of cool. Bee gun. This thing is awesome. Uh, it does take magic, but look at that. Look at that. That's cool. All right, let's go ahead and uh, zip on out of here. Go back home. And try to get rid of some of this stuff. And my inventory got full quick. I'm trying to keep stuff as well. Uh, we're going to have to do a little manage inventory management here. And as fun as that is to watch, I know you guys really don't want to see it. So I'm going to go ahead and speed right through that. Give me one second. Okay, well, that's kind of what I want to do for now. It, yeah, get rid of that. Oh, let's go to the weapons real fast. We're going to throw these in here real fast and then... I guess we'll keep that. We'll get rid of the sword for now. Uh, get rid of these. Get rid of that. Back to building. Get rid of that. And that. And we'll leave it there for now. Okay, so we're gonna go... Oh, Witch Doctor. Boom. So yeah, we got an imbuing station here. It's gonna help us with, uh, well, weapon imbuements and stuff like that, I guess. Uh, blow gun, which I've never used. A lot more of the fountains here. Fountains. Okay. I thought they were statues. Um. First thing I really want to do, really, is go to this guy and buy this. Like now. And then stock up on the ammo. Boom. Alright, that's done. Um. Crafting. I want to find the guy. There he is, Cody. There you are. Okay, let's go up this way. And boom. Alright, so I want to learn about crafting. What can I make with this? So we can make a honey balloon if we get the balloon from the sky. Uh, star cloak we don't have. We do have a panic necklace, I believe. So we can do that and we can do... Oh, and increases... Okay, maybe we don't have that. I think we have something else. Uh, DPS meter, what's that though? Metal detector and stopwatch. Uh, stopwatch is easy to get. Metal detector, I don't know though. What do you do? Movement speed, damage per second, and valuable ore. Okay, metal detectors is valuable ore. Okay, that makes sense. But I know I can go ahead and put those together now, so let's go over to our crafting station back in the first house, the starter house we made. And, oops, there we go. Go here. There it is, tiger climbing. Boom. 1% melee speed? Okay, we'll take it. You could always go to this friend here. Go to reforge. Put it in there. One gold. I have 25. Let's let's just do it just for uh, sake of it. So 1% melee. 4% damage. It's a little bit better. We'll take it. Uh, you can do it with everything. So, can I do it with that too? Can I do it with my cloud in a bottle? Yeah, I can. So I can go in here and hit that. Now I do more critical strike chance. Uh, we got our increased movement speed. Critical strike chance. We're going to do that though. Twenty mana. We can we can do that. That's not bad. Uh, we do have a stopwatch right there already. Um. Do I really need that though? I don't know if I need that in my inventory. No, I don't. It just already comes up right there. So that gives me room for flippers, I guess. I, I don't know. Uh. We've got a spectre boots already. We don't need to do anything else with those. Uh, what can we do with those though? Yeah, I don't think it really does anything special, so let's hit that. 1% melee movement. Uh, let's do damage, I guess. 
It's not like a whole lot of damage, but it's enough to... Enough. It's enough. Right, we'll go to nature. Right, we'll go to potions, actually, to throw those in there. Okay, so I'm cool with that. Let's go ahead and hit up the accessories again and throw everything back in there. I might want to hold on to this, actually. Just because, you know, throw some bees out when I'm damaged. No, I don't want to get rid of I want to keep that. Same with the bee nades. I'm switch that with the bombs. Keep you on me as well. Really don't want you, actually. You can go away, fine. Uh, Mini Shark, gonna throw you here for the boomerang. And... Cool. Alright, so the last thing I wanted to do in this episode is just show you guys how really useful the extractor is. Uh, we found one in the chest before. We didn't pick it up because we already have one here. But all you have to do is just, you know, let's go ahead and just for the sake of things, we'll do that. No. That. We'll do the 15 first. Uh, okay, ash doesn't work, but silt does for sure. So what that does, you just hold it down, man. Just hold that button down and look at all the stuff you get for it. Just let it go through, let it keep going and going and going, and at the end of it, you got a lot of ore. I uh, also get a couple things like amber. I don't know if you can see the amber there. I gotta hold it there. There we go. Amber right there. We got some tin, some silver ore, some lead, iron tungsten, gold, platinum and copper. So you get it from uh, Crimson and Corruption Worlds when you do that. Uh, we don't have to do that for now. I just wanted to show that off real fast. And I think we can get crates in here, so... Let's go ahead and do a little fishing, guys. Oh, uh, there's a goldfish in there. Dynamite fish, cool. So, uh, this is why I built this here, really. I always wanted to place fish at home. I could go to the oceans. I think you can to get better stuff but you can get a like a pickaxe and a sword and that kind of stuff from the oceans which is pretty it's kind of cool some of the weapons you can get from there are useful too uh, like the the pickaxe you get from the ocean it's like a shark or something like that it just like one of the higher level pickaxes it's really good to have but we're gonna go ahead and end the episode here guys I'm just gonna do a little bit more fishing come back in the episode uh, next episode we got that queen bee down uh, I don't know what I'm going to do next. Let me think about it. We'll do, uh, next episode I'll try to think of something fun to do. Alright, guys. I don't think for watching. Oh, we got our first crate. Have a great day, guys. We'll see you next time. Uh, well, actually, please hit that like, like button. Hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment. And, uh, come back again. See you next time, everyone.